Okay, hello everyone. Hopefully you can help us okay. We're here with Blake Stevenson and Johanna Brown hiding there in the background. <laughs> we were having a few technical difficulties this morning, but we don't want to leave you without being able to see some of the amazing workbenches and pieces in our collection. So we are going to give you a quick rundown of some of the things that we have, and then we're going to reschedule this full program for a later date when we're not having technical difficulties. Blake, take it away. Sure. Yeah, let's go back and let's look in our large collection storage. Uh, this is an area where we house things that are too big uh, to put in a, well, in a in a different location, let's say. Um, the great thing back here is the oddities that we have back in this location. Everything from uh, sleighs to one of my favorite things, really, workbenches. We have eight workbenches that all relate in some fashion or form to Salem. Uh, this is a great one. This is what we call the Lawnbach workbench. Uh, it's a case piece set of drawers to the bottom of that. You can see these drawers are recessed and that's a great thing that that recess sets it so the knobs aren't hit or knocked and they don't chip away like this knob has over the years. Um, one thing you'll notice with these benches they all share a common design of what's called a tail vise to the end of that. And let's look at this Carson Peterson bench with that tail vise. What this tail vise allows you to do, allows you to take that vise and open that vise up. You have corresponding dogs. You can see the holes for those dogs. When you set that dog in place, you'd have a, a, another dog in the front of that. And that allows you to then lock your piece in the plane to get a flat level surface on that form. The oddity with this bench are the dog holes on the face of the bench. This is something that's not commonly seen. Um, this bench is 19th century, dates to the 1830s, uh, maybe, maybe a little earlier than that, the 1820s. And it's a great bench because there's three benches all from the same family, the Peterson family. Uh, Carson Peterson had two sons, and so we have benches from those sons as well. You'll see here, this is a great piece too. This is a plane, and that plane has been marked with Karsten Peterson's stamp. collection, we actually have that metal stamp. Wow. little bit of crossover there that Peterson is a turner and he is actually turning out tooling for other cabinet makers in the community and making a, a screw like this isn't an easy task making a wood screw like this not an easy task easy to turn it but not easy to cut the threads yeah this is actually the headstock from that same family and we were looking at tool marks a couple of weeks extra mark here of that head point, that center point, and that center point matches up directly to this particular lathe. You had to push or plug that piece into place to hold it before you could actually turn it into form. And so it's great to have the tooling behind a lot of the furniture that we have in our collection. And let's take a look at some of that furniture here. And Blake, I'm gonna have you yeah. uh, do that so I can make sure our stream's looking good. Okay. There you go. So. You can see this chair. You can see the bamboo turning form on that chair. This is a, a very popular design coming 1820s, 1830s, 1840s, where you have a lot of influence from the Orient. You can see that turning here as well. So a, a real simple chair like this, and this is highlighted with a, a painted form. Now, if you look at one of our benches here, this is a shaving horse. This shaving horse dates to Salem. It's probably in the same time period, the 1820s, 1830s. And look at the legs on this particular shaving horse. You can see again, bamboo, bamboo form. So that faux bamboo coming, carving on the edge of this piece. The risers on this piece are turned as well. So it's really showing off that Turner's ability in a tool that he would use. You know, this is simply a tool. Even the headstock 
has some recessed carving on the head of it. The greatest thing about this particular bench is it's constructed. The front legs of this bench work on a pivot. So that means that if you are on unlevel ground or uneven ground, that no matter what, this pivot will pivot to the form and allow it so the bench doesn't rock back and forth. It becomes very stable. You can see with this chair just on this table, it's already unstable. Another interesting item, we were talking about turned work with that bamboo form. We have an original lathe in our collection also. This is the base of that particular lathe. The rails on this particular lathe use a wooden screw and wooden nut to actually hold or clamp the rails into place. And it's good that you guys can hear us. It's looking uh, a little bit blurry on our end. So I think what we'll do is, now that you've had your sneak peek of some of the pieces that we'll be looking at with you and Johanna, we may uh, sign off for now mm -hmm. so that we can get everybody a better high quality dream when we have Johanna here to um, discuss the pieces with us as well. Yeah, because this is going to be a really good episode. So definitely we should reschedule and redo this. I think so too. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. As you can see, we have a lot of treasures back here we can't wait to share with you. And we will be posting soon on when we'll be rescheduling this live so we can have everybody join us. And we'll have a good quality for you. Thank you so much. Bye.